Okay, now the bank owns the real estate owned property and we're starting to get into the negotiation process. This is where the bank is now going to, on their end, negotiate with tax authorities, any liens, uh, handle evictions if that's necessary for the property. Typically, they're not gonna really do repairs. Maybe that would be involved as well. Uh, again, that's probably not going to be the case. And anything else that might be attached to that property, the bank is going to work on that because their goal is not to be in the house business, it's in the money banking business. So they wanna get this off their books as well, but they also wanna make sure they're able to command the best price. They have other parties involved in this that they need to please, uh, such as shareholders and investors on their end. So um, once buyers begin to have the opportunity to view this property and make offers, they will have that opportunity to inspect. And this is highly recommended because typically there'll be things that need to be repaired. Uh, things that the bank really isn't gonna take the time to disclose, you're just going to have to uh, go in there and make sure that you have a full inspection done because it's up to you to make a, an educated decision and the best choice dependent on market values and what you think the home is worth. And this is where the negotiation phase will begin with the bank. Once you put down an offer or a buyer and multiple buyers put down offers, uh, typically, the bank will renegotiate that. Uh, they'll counter offer essentially. So you'll put down what you think the home is worth, and typically the bank is going to uh, come a little higher, probably much higher than you expect. And it'll be almost formulated every month. Uh, the price will begin to drop, and over time, uh, that price will continue to come down until a buyer and the bank are able to meet at a point that satisfies both sides. And uh, again, this is because the bank needs to show that they're trying to command the best price. And this can be a lengthy process. So uh, typically the first offer is not the offer that's accepted unless it's exactly the price that they're asking for. And most buyers are, are savvy enough to know to go in there and uh, ask for at least a reasonable negotiation on that given the circumstances of the home and probably again, the repairs that are needed to be done on that property.